conference in power electronics, I think in MIT, but 1971 was the first conference, a second conference, a chair propulsion laboratory and Professor Milbrew's chairman. At that time, power electronics field was called, conference were called power conditioning. <laughs> and we quickly changed because it sounded, you know, low class and low level like air conditioning. So, <laughs> so we first changed power conditioning, uh, power uh, conversion in electronics conference. And then uh, uh, later it was simplified to power electronics and it stayed that way some 20, 25 years. Uh, I would say uh, Professor Milrook was really um, very instrumental to bringing this field uh, to be recognized as academic and research discipline. Uh, we were supported originally by NASA. Uh, together we have grown a group uh, to about 35, 36 PhD students. Just to give you the, the how much we are productive, I think uh, uh, Professor Ajimiri doesn't know that, but uh, this book was uh, his first two books in the other area, but from 1970, Six when I finished my PhD, two, two years, 74 to 76. From 76 to 1981, we published a two volume books, total over 600 pages. And from 81 to 83, we published another 21 pa uh, papers of 350 pages. So, uh, and many consider that as a, uh, that many people use that as a textbook and use it as a reason to get into this field because we were writing the papers at the time uh, irrespective uh, of lengths, 20, 30 pages. Later, uh, conferences established a, a page limit and you had to pay if you're over that limit and Professor Milbrook and me decided, look, we need to educate this field. We'll take whatever it uh, takes to explain it and we'll pay for it, and we did. So that's uh, still, I think, uh, uh, Millbrook uh, stayed uh, in this field, uh, not only till 1998 when he retired, but another 12 years he was a regular visit, a regular attendant, uh, attending uh, a major conference in this field in the United States, which is Applied Power Electronics Conference, actually up to the couple of months before uh, he died. So uh, I think I have, uh, Traveled with him throughout the world. Uh, we taught uh, outside of Caltech something like 4,000 uh, engineers throughout the world took our courses, and uh, I learned a lot of him uh, from him in the style of the lectures. You know, it was very difficult to 